I love music from a young age just because my family were big on, on music, like Afro Beats and Michael Jackson and Calling a Gang and that. So that's what I grew up on. Um, and then I started to really love hip hop music. So like Notorious, B.I.G., Tupac, 50 Cent. I know a lot of the premier listeners will be familiar with those artists. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I grew up listening to. But then when I started to take my faith more seriously, I realised that the stuff that they were speaking about went against a lot of the stuff that um, I stood for. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to start writing my own lyrics. Now, they were all terrible. And thankfully, I'm all right now, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just had a big passion for music. And before that, I wanted to be like a footballer for West Ham, who were the best football team in the world but I was too lazy. Um, and then I wanted to be like a businessman of some sort, but I was too lazy. Um, and music was the only thing. That I'd you argue <laughs> you're a very good businessman, to be honest. Do you reckon? <laughs> yes. I don't know, I don't know. But music was the only thing that didn't feel like work and that I enjoyed. So I naturally kind of delved into that. Um, and my youth leader at church said, oh, why don't you put a CD together just for the youth group? Um, and there was about 80 of us in the youth group. So I did that had an album launch and a thousand people turned up and then the rest is history. That's not normal. Let's just rewind to that for a minute then. So yeah. you, you start rapping just because you want to hear something positive. You yeah. put together a, a little mixtape, if you like, yeah. put on an event and a thousand people turn up. Yeah. So, I mean, that's it quite an endorsement crazy. that you've got a gift. Was it at that point that you thought, hang on a minute, I've got something here. I could do something with this. Or did you have a sense of that before? Or was that, was, was there a defining moment in you feeling called to this? The defining moment was probably that event. But before that, when I started to get a bit popular, I had struggled with the fact that actually my life hasn't been perfect and I've made mistakes and I still haven't got it all together. So why is God choosing to bless me with this popularity or people that are liking my music? I didn't feel like I deserved it because there were other people that I'd looked at as like model Christians that maybe deserved it a bit more. Um, but I think the dividing moment was that I've got a lot of favour on my life and I don't understand why, but I'm just going to run with it and see what happens. You've had fans from all walks of life, lots of Christians, but lots of uh, non-Christian young people in particular have related to your music as well. And do you think that that's part of what they've related to, the fact that you feel like you're just one of them if you like and I mm. know uh, in particular I wanted to speak to you a bit more later on but about your album Odd One Out where yeah. you say you felt like you were the misfit in a way and mm. uh, tell us a bit about that experience and how you think young people can relate to that. Yeah I've always felt like I don't fit in anywhere really just because obviously my parents are from Ghana I went to school in Essex I was like one of the only black kids in my class I'm a rapper but then I also love like the Spice Girls <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just don't know. I just don't. I don't feel like I fit into to one box, and maybe that's worked to my benefit because a number of different kinds of people can relate to what I do. So you've got people that grew up like I did that can relate, but then you've got people that are maybe more middle class that can relate because I moved to that kind of area. I don't know, but yeah, I've just felt like the odd one out. But I guess it's worked. Maybe you stand out more if you're different. I don't know. Tune in to The Profile Interview in association with Christianity Magazine every Saturday at 4pm only on Premier Christian Radio where faith comes to life.